Are where are you coming from by this time of the night? What business of yours is it? I've been up here waiting for you since 6 p.m. Just look at the time you're coming back. And so? Who told you to wait for me? Why didn't you go to bed? Have you been drinking again? Dorothy or whatever your name is, stop bothering my life this night. If you don't have any other thing to say, go to bed. I will not go to bed until you explain to me where you're coming from by this time of the night. <laughs> And if I don't explain to you, will you chase me out of the house? I am the wife, and I deserve to know. I am surprised you still address yourself as my wife. What does that mean? What are you trying to tell me? Nothing. I'm just saying. I thought by now, maybe you would divorce me for not buying you an iPhone. Don't get me pissed off more than I already am. Do I look like I care? That is the only thing you can do nowadays. You get angry all the time. And whose fault is that? Will I just stay and get angry on my own? I'm not in the mood for this right now. I have to go to bed. I have work tomorrow morning. I am not done with you. Your normal closing time is 6 p.m. Then why are you back by 10? What is the point of coming back to the house early when you nag all the time? You are calling me a nag. You don't know you nag. I am allergic to a nagging wife. Really? This house no longer gives me peace of mind. I hate coming back to this house. If you want to continue having peace of mind, then do the right thing. And what is the right thing? By getting an iPhone? <laughs> you must be joking. I'm um, going inside. You can join me when you like. Good evening, my love. Welcome, baby. How was work today? It was a bit stressful, so I had to come back early. How are you doing? I'm fine, dear, but I'm just worried. What is it? I hope it's not about me. I'm worried about us. Talk to me, dear. What is the problem? You told me Destiny agreed to give you the 20 million euro, but up to now, you haven't said a word about it. You don't have to worry about that, my love. I called her yesterday and she assured me she will give us the money. She's taking too long. Destiny has never disappointed me before. I believe she will give me the money. Mm, if you say so, I'll wait. Have you had something to eat? Yes, I have, but I need some money. What do you need money for? Am I not providing everything you need in this house? You are, but I need money for my personal need. It is not everything I'll ask you for. So how much do you need? 50,000 naira. What is it with you and 50,000 naira? That is literally the least of the amount you ask me for. I really ask you for more, so anytime I ask for money, you should always know that it's 50,000 naira I want. Yes, ma. Noted. So when should I expect it? Are you in a hurry to use it? Yes, no. I'd like to go for shopping tomorrow morning. It's okay. I will transfer the money to you later this night. Okay, dear. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Did you cook anything today? Yes, I did. Go and freshen up while I set the table. Okay, dear. I have never been this confused in my entire life before. As a nae, I can't believe my younger sister refused to accommodate us. You can't blame her. I mean, any other person would have done the same thing. Don't support her because she's my sister. We just want to stay for a few days, but she refused. There is no point talking about it. It's not like you will take us in any way. So what do we do now? I don't know. My only prayer is that Patrick should not come back and see us here. Why not call your father? Maybe he will be able to help us out. He already told us that he wants to rent a place and set up the place first before we pack in. It should be done by now. Besides, we shouldn't be concerned about how fancy the house is but a roof over our head. You are right. But I wouldn't like to disturb him. I would like him to take us there at his own time. Babe, you have to disturb him. See, we don't have time on our side. Patrick might be back any time from now. I know that's giving two days gap. I will call to remind him. 
Okay, dear. So what would you like to eat? You are asking us if you have food in this house. The food stuffs I bought with the 2,000 naira you gave me, still in the house. Okay. Let's manage that one tomorrow. We will know what to do. Okay. Have some rest. Let me quickly fix it. Don't worry, I will join you. It will be faster when we do it together. Finally, you are back. What's up, bro? You took so long. I was beginning to get worried. So about that, you see you delayed me. How did it go? Hmm. I'm so ashamed to say it. Wait, I hope it's not a bad news though. It is worse than a bad news. Damn it. So all my prayers for the CEO to call you back were in vain. I'm just as disappointed as you are. What exactly did he say? He just said he doesn't need my services anymore. That I've been sacked. Oh my god, this is really bad news. Indeed. So what do you intend to do now? I don't know. I'll just look for something else to do. Better still apply at another company. You don't look worried. Do you have a plan B? <laughs> April Fool, I got you. Wait, you haven't lost your job? No, not at all. <laughs> Seriously, you got me. I was beginning to wonder why the CEO would sack you when we all know you are the best in that company. I'm just grateful to God. I don't know what I would have done if I was sacked. Please don't play such prank on me again. You almost give me high blood pressure. <laughs> more pranks are coming because there will be more good news. Congratulations, bro. That means we'll both go to work on Monday. Definitely. God has been faithful to me. Have you heard from your wife? How many times have I told you not to bring her up whenever we are having a discussion? I'm just concerned about you and your marriage. You don't have to be concerned, bro. Where is now? Make my decision. Do you mind sharing your decision with me? I promise not to let her know. I haven't made up my mind on anything yet. But very, very soon, I will know what to do. I pray whatever decision it is, we won't let your marriage crash. Finally, you are here. Why did you call me to come here? Are you not happy to see me? I mean, it's been ages. I take it that Bella delivered the message I sent through her. What messages are you talking about? Have you agreed to spend the weekend with me? Of course not. I thought we talked about this before. So why then did you invite me to come here? I want to have a word with you. Please sit. I hope whatever you want to say is reasonable. Patrick, please. I need a favor from you. What favor? My school fees is due for payment. And my house rent is also due. I need some money to go for shopping too. <laughs> What am I? Your money-making machine? It's not like that now. You know you are the only person we have now. You know what to do to get what you want. Stop playing ignorant about it. Patrick, please, things are hard for us. Bella told me that you left the house for a very long time now. Oh, really? So she told you about that one, but didn't tell you the other message? Okay, fine, she did. But my answer is still no. Okay, then. You have my number, in case you change your mind. Are you going back to your house now? I won't be going back for some time. I need some space. It's not like Bella needs you anyway. After all, she has another company in the house. She has another company in my house. She brought her friend to my house to stay with me. But I said no. And I believe she took her to your house. What? Bella did what? If you think I am lying, go back to the house and check. She has the guts to take someone to my house. I am not telling you for you to make trouble. There is no point being here. You can call me when you've made up your mind. Patrick, please now. Have a nice day. Hey, baby. Welcome, my love. What took you so long? Sorry, dear. Traffic was hectic. How are you doing? I'm not fine at all. I missed you so much. I missed you too. At least I'm here now. How about your mom? Did she know you came to see me? No, my mom and I haven't been talking for a while now because of you. Really? Is it that serious? Yes, it is. I don't just want to talk to her for now, till when it's time to get the money from her. No, dear. You don't have to keep malice with your mom because of me. Please try and settle whatever it is with her. It is obvious she doesn't want my happiness because if she does, she would accept you into the family. 
Babe, don't forget we are not even making plans to get married yet. But you said you want the both of us to run away together. Yes, I do. But my point is, you should try and settle whatever it is with your mom, please. I would only talk to her because of you. Please, my love, just do that for me. She's your mom after all. So what about your sister? I haven't seen her for some time now. She is in her room. I guess she's sleeping. I don't know why I don't like her till now. You have to learn to like her. She will be your sister in law soon. Have you had something to eat? Yes, I have, dear. Please try and hurry up to get the money. The earlier we run away, the better for us. I will. Just give me a little more time. Convincing my parents to give me 20 million naira is not a child's play. It's okay, I understand.